The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the company that creates adorable, kid-friendly cartoon worlds, then as you brutalize everyone that lives in them, comes a franchise even older than your favorite porcine plumber that has had you asking since childhood, why is his first name Donkey? Donkey Kong. Discover the roots of the Donkey Kong franchise deep in the jungles of the 80s arcades that all started with Miyamoto seeing King Kong and saying, hey, let's just do that. In a classic single-screen platformer where you play as Proto Mario and face down obstacles, terrible controls, and Billy Mitchell on your quest to save the damsel in distress from this furious barrel-tossing ape. Then try out the sequel featuring Mario's only recorded heel turn as some sort of Italian poacher and the rarely discussed third one where you're a guy named Stanley shooting clouds of DK's ass. Or honestly, skip this generation of games entirely if you're not at least 35, because without nostalgia, they've all aged about as well as a pile of corpses in a sauna. Roll Jump into Donkey Kong's second era of games, a series of challenging SNES platformers with a unique pre-rendered look, where you'll take the role of DK or his smaller, edgier relatives and blast through levels themed around ropes, tires, and inexplicable floating cannon barrels, as well as the majority of the wildlife, all while scouring every corner for mini games and collectibles, until you finally come to a minecart level and are forced to throw your controller into the TV. Okay, I've definitely got it this time. <laughs> Uncover the long dark age of Donkey Kong when Nintendo clearly had no idea what to do with the franchise and just threw everything at the wall hoping something would stick. Featuring Donkey Kong 64, a Banjo-Kazooie-esque collectathon designed to drive completionists insane, Diddy Kong Racing, a surprisingly good card game with boats and planes that never got a sequel, the inevitable mediocre handheld spin-offs, the ones that use the bizarre bongo drum peripheral built specifically to piss off your neighbors, and the bizarre puzzle spin-off Mario vs. Donkey Kong that somebody must be buying because they made six of them. In a legacy of side games that shows as much creativity as it does willingness to put Donkey Kong characters into pretty much anything. <laughs> Open Palm Slap, the third generation of actual DK games into your modern console, as Retro Studios picks up where Rare left off with the Donkey Kong Country games, cranking out gorgeous, goofy platformers stuffed full of gimmicks and secrets, and a fun, kid-friendly veneer that hides cheek-clenching difficulty later on as they crank the intensity up to 11 on everything, including the dreaded minecarts. To the point where they had to put an easy mode on the Switch one where you play as Donkey Kong's drug dealer in a classic platforming challenge that harkens back to an era when video games weren't about having fun as much as frustrating the shit of children. So straighten that tie and bust out that boombox for a series that will test your old school platforming skills and fill you with childlike love for this affable ape family until that monkey asshole slaps you into oblivion in Smash Bros. I hope you never get your stupid bananas back, jerk. <laughs> Starring King Dong, Tails, Pippi Kongstocking, Kong of New York, Brass Monkey, that funky monkey, Not So Tiny Kong, Big Chimpin, Kong Louis, Stripper Kong, and Really Let Himself Go Bowser. Expand Dong. You have to admit, the actual best thing about the Donkey Kong franchise is the DK rap. Just listen to these hot bars. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. Stop telling me to say boy. They were the power couple of Chuck E. Cheese. Scoopity Whoop, Whoopty Scoopty Poop. A hot dog is technically a sandwich, boy.